Hello, it's me Ashley, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I've got for you a travel vlog going to the Maldives. We're very, very lucky, we're gonna be flying business class on a fancy, what is it, a... Airbus. <laughs> Not Airbus, a... 380 or oh, something like that. I'll let you know when we get there. But yes, we are traveling down to Manchester very soon and um, I'll keep you posted as the day goes. Um, so we've got an eight hour flight to Dubai, then two hour layover in Dubai and then another four hour flight to the Maldives, to Mali, before getting on a boat to head to our little island. So I'll keep you posted. Ignore Chris and the dogs in the background, but this is my travel outfit, just thought I'd show you. Got a longish tee from Primark, got some Adidas leggings that I got from ASOS. I'm going to put on some Vans, and the dogs aren't wanting us to leave. <laughs> the lounge has got its own business centre. I'm not entirely sure if you can use the printer, but they've got a computer little section, some desks, computer you can use. Wiggle, 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 and it's just free to use the internet or whatever. Oh, Internet Explorer though. <laughs> it's old school. But yeah, cool. And then out into the lounge. Just show you the bathroom. I know it's a little bit weird, but there's nobody in here. Um, we've got a nice big mirror. Hi. Lovely sinks, nice toiletries. Um, we've got some nice cloths, a hairdryer, lovely little area for doing your makeup, and another hairdryer. A couple of full length mirrors. Around here, we've got some toilets, and there are also showers available if you need them. Um, I think you have to ask for a towel. But yeah, quite a spacious little area. Should you need to get yourself ready for a flight? There are disabled facilities available if um, you are disabled and would like a shower or a wee. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry, gone. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to say this is Paige. Say hi, Paige. Hi. This is Paige, is making sure it's all lovely and presentable for me to, to sweep yeah. around with the camera. So. <laughs> Here we go. 
That is really hard to keep this steady, so I do apologize. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Up, up, up and away. So let me just do you a quick tour of our seats. Next to us we have a nice little side table. Um, we came with some gloves and gloves, <laughs> socks and an eye mask. Then in here we've got some drinks. We have a sparkly water, two bottles of water, a 7-Up and a Pepsi. Um, there's a big kind of, that's my seatbelt, sorry, um, a big like pocket. So I put the menus and F now on my um, headphones. We've got a tray table that will come out and then come out again and then this will be where we have lunch. And it goes all the way back in. Under here we've got like our little information booklets, we've got a screen, a remote, there's also a tablet over here we can use to control the TV. Um, under here there's a little pocket for our shoes. Um, we've also got this little pocket, not entirely sure what that one's for. Not entirely sure what these are for either. Chris thinks bottles, but I don't know. Um, we've also, I suppose, Chris is sat next to me. Hi, Chris. Um, and if I didn't know the person next to me, often I, when yeah, enough. often when Chris doesn't like me anymore, um, happens often, <laughs> we can put the screen up. So, oh no, Chris is gone. I mean, I could still see where he's watching on the TV, so you can't get what away we're watching it and too risky. <laughs> But then, should I want to socialise again? There he is. This was a nice lady. Excuse me. What are those for? Sorry? What are those for? What's, what you meant to put so in there? So you can put something. Just whatever any, you need. Just, just whatever. whatever. Just whatever. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> the lady's just been round and offered us a mattress. So we've now we've got a nice little padded extra bit to our seat. Um, I haven't actually tried refining the seat yet, have you? What? I haven't tried to know. I don't even know how to do it. Oh, yeah. On the side here, we've got obviously a little light control. I don't know how to turn it on. I assume that. Yep. The bottom one lights up the bar. And the bottom one. Oh, okay. Chris says the bottom one lights up the bar. Which doesn't seem to do an awful lot. Just a slight little blue light, if you can tell. And then this one reclines our seat. Can you tell? So I've reclined it to a relaxing position, not a sleeping position. But as you can see on here, there is the upright position, this relaxing one I've just put on, and there is a proper flat mode, because obviously your feet will go all the way down. So, quite cool. Anyway, we're comfy cosy, I'll keep you posted. Okay, let's take a little look at the entertainment menu together. So we've got movies, music, um, games, podcasts, TV, etc. So if we go to movies, let's see what they have in the new releases. I must admit, I do tend to go to like the Disney movies and things, in case I fall asleep. <laughs> um, so we've got the DC Super Pet, see that? That was cool. Um, I don't recognise many of these. Bullet Train, saw that. Um, we've got... Ooh. <laughs> it's a little bit bumpy at the minute. Um, I don't recognise an awful lot of these movies. Elvis, recognise that. I haven't seen it. Minions, cool. Um, Chris is thinking about watching this one. Oh, this one's about dogs. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Top Gun, the old school version. Um, the new one. Also, a mistletoe mix-up. Oh, is that like a proper like cheesy Hallmark movie? Maybe I'll watch that. Oh my god, are my fingerprints that bad? <laughs> Yeah, it's blatantly like a proper old school Hallmark cheesy movie. I like those. Um, so that's in the new releases. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Do excuse me in TV if you want to look and see what's in that. Um, various things. They've got a Christmas section, which is cool for this time of year, I suppose. Drama, documentaries, comedy. I do usually like comedy. Let's see what's in the comedy section. So, loading, we've got... Anything I recognise? Barry, Chris and I have been watching Barry. Season three, Barry, we've just watched that. Yeah. Um, 
there's friends. Um, not a massive amount though to be fair, nothing I've really heard of an awful lot. Oh, Chris has just been to the bar, he's come back with a sandwich for me. It is a red Leicester and red onion relish roll. Um, he just thought I'd like that. It's very busy in the bar at the moment. Um, but he did get himself a... Some kind of Bacardi. Some kind of Bacardi. Um, said it was the best one. Yeah, the best rum and some Coke. The cooler. No, it's dad, Pepsi. My dad had Jura whiskey as well. Okay. The best, the best one apparently. Again, the barman has got my drinks for me. Cool. Um, no, I... Um, ordered mine with the lady who came round to offer me the mattress um, and my thingy bobby remote control thing was stuck um, so she went and got a knife and got it out for me so we're sorted um, so I'm waiting on some champagne I've got a little sandwich if I want to um, and the bar is literally here if we want anything else so we're pretty set for our next six hours and something or other and fight so they come round and ask you if you'd like a drink. I chose champagne. You also get some nuts. Well, possibly some olives. Chris's sister got some olives. She doesn't like them, so I got both. Really cool. Chris did actually order a drink. He went to the bar and it was way quicker. So I recommend going to the bar. So this is the on flight bar. It's a little bit quiet because people are in the dinners, sorry. Um, nice selection of things. Whatever you can get on the menu, basically you can get here. Quite quick to serve, so it's a lot better to go here. So this is Chris's chosen starter. He has the salmon. Why are they doing it? I'll figure out what exactly it's called. Um, with a salad and a roll. It is the smoked salmon nori roll, which is served with edamame seaweed salad, dill mayonnaise, and toasted sesame seeds. Okay, so a bit sushi esque. Yeah. Cool. So that's Chris's. And here is mine. Haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, but I get a salad, a roll, a bit of the bread, and then. Um, I was going to say chickpeas, but they're very black for chickpeas. Um, I'll let you know what they're like. Jalapenos are excited though. Um, it's usually nice food and obviously we get like proper cutlery. Well, that's heavy. Um, so that's cool. Uh, let you know what it's like. Chris has now been given his sister's meze plate. My traditional uh, Arabic meze and I apologise for the butchered pronunciation, but we've got hummus. Yeah, that's that, stuff. that one, yep. Then we have uh, mu, mu Hamara. Next one to it. Chicken? Yep. Okay, then we have uh, the Baba Ganesh. Yep. And then we have stuffed with pine leaf yep. and uh, olives. Oh, little olives. So mm. I can avoid the olives because I like olives. <laughs> and then a similar salad, I guess George just had. So what you just had. And some kind of bread. Cool. Okay. okay. This is Chris's. It's coming up very red. I'll try and alter it in editing. Um, but he's got, what have you got to you? I've got the seared beef tenderloin, which is served with a black pepper sauce, a gnocchi a la parisienne, sauteed green beans, and glazed carrots. Doesn't know what it was, it's like um, really weird lumpy yeah, Whatever that stuff is. Parsley! Oh, here it is. <gasps> I love parsley. Okay, so this is my main. I'll be honest, because it wasn't on the menu. I haven't got a clue. Um, there's something with kidney beans or some rice. I think there's peas and things in there. Um, I'll let you know what it's like afterwards. But yeah, that's the vegetarian option. Not vegan, vegetarian I selected. So I'll let you know what it's like. So just to give you a thought, um, I didn't get a chance to tell you about the starter before I started the main. Um, it was okay. Eh. To be honest, yeah, I've had better starters and I've had better starters on an Emirate plane. Um, however, you know, nice enough, a little bit spicy, a little bit of crunch. Me, the main seemed a little bit weird. It seemed to have rice and then like a curry and then almost like a chili. I don't know where it was because I can't tell you because they don't put it on the menu. Um, 
I mean, I've eaten it. But yeah, a little bit weird. <laughs> Made the mistake almost of I just went to bite this, and accidentally bit it in half and not ate it. But um, very, very spicy just from the little nibble I had. So I'm gonna leave that. So Chris, how was your food? Um, I'll tell you the two starters because I stole my sister's because she wasn't bothered and figured it was a waste. Mine was the salmon rolls. Fine. Um, the salad, which I'm guessing is kind of the same salad that came with my sister's, uh, was very rockety and I'm not a big fan of rocket. So I kind of drenched mine in this balsamic olive oil mixture, which kind of covered the taste of rocket quite well. So I ate mine, but I'm not bothered about a second bowl full. Um, the salmon rolls themselves, quite nice kind of solid chunks of salmon, which, you know, salmon, salmon, so that was nice. Hers was the Arabic, Arabic mezze platter. Stuffed vine leaf was fine, quite oily, came with the olives, which I don't like olives, so I avoided them. The baba ganoush, not a fan of, I don't know what baba ganoush is, but I don't like it. The hummus is hummus, I can give or take hummus, it's not really my favourite. Whatever the other thing was, I can't remember what it was, that was quite tasty. The pinky thing, that was a taste of the Haram or something. Um. And my main, I got the seared beef thing, I'll say the little maybe, obviously. Um, that was tasty. The black peppercorn sauce is quite spicy, you don't feel a tingle on my lips, heat wise. That was nice. Gnocchi was gnocchi, you know, is what it is. And they um, but the vegetables, the carrots, and the green beans were quite nice. So, yeah, not, not as I've said. Not the best food I've had on a plane, but certainly not bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, one thumb up, one, one thumb up, one thumb sideways. Let's go. <laughs> so, Chris's dessert has come. He has chosen the salted caramel Something. tart, is it? It looks like a tart with some kind of ganache. Salted caramel custard tart served with a mocha chocolate sauce. Okay. And then you get some fancy Emirates chocolate switch. Yes. I think we've always get them. Who knows what flavour mm. they are? On the box? Um, I've got a box too, so it might say. Um, mm. Mm, I don't know, we got two chocolates. Um, and then over here I have got the vegetarian option. I don't know what it is. I kind of half recognise it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've had it, I think, before when we come to the Maldives. I don't know. I look a bit scary. I don't think I like that. <laughs> I've just I've turned my little light on so you can see me. Um, we've got an hour-ish left on our flight and it's been lovely, really. Quite comfortable. I managed to have a sleep actually, which I wasn't sure I would. Um, so it's been very comfortable. Didn't even need a blanket actually. The temperature's been spot on. Um, it's been okay, we've been able to get whatever we want. Um, things like a little pack of nuts from the bar. Um, the bar's just shut actually, there's just over an hour left of the flight. So you can't get any more drinks, but we have our own little bits and bobs should we need them. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be landing. Got no window to show you, but I can show you on the screen. <laughs> Whoa. Feel it already. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pretty easy to hold the camera steady when you're landing. <laughs> but that's us landed safely. Fish. Oh god. In Dubai. <laughs> God, everything's rattling. <laughs> so this is the plane we've just got off, double decker, and um, we were on the top row. Pretty impressive. So in the business class lounge, looking down at the duty free. Didn't have a lot of time. Um, we're gonna like literally go 20 minutes or so in the lounge got some moe had some cheesy pasta that was nice and we'll be heading off soon so we've just boarded our second flight from dubai to mali oh i'm looking uh nice and refreshed 
<laughs> this is slightly different seat setup. Um, we have like a little TV, little pocket. Um, we've got a little uh, spot for our shoes here. Um, little tiny table for our drinks. Got some champagne because we've boarded. Um, and then we also have um, the trip table that comes out. I assume from yeah, from here. <laughs> Um, little side pockets, I've got a phone charger and things, I've got the remote here, um, little tablet should we need it, and this is outside at Dubai Airport. Ooh, hell. Oh, we've just been given a little in-flight back. I don't think we've ever had one on the Emirates flight before, um, so I'm intrigued. I'm going to open it with you guys, <laughs> if I can get it open one-handed, let's see. <laughs> Okay, I've got it open. Firstly, the bag's beautiful. It's like a Bulgari one. Um, oh, wow. Look, it's even like, lined and everything. Oh, bloody hell, this person started talking or something. Um, okay, so we have an annoying child behind us, first of all. <laughs> we have a brush. Oh, wow, this is amazing. We have some tissues. <laughs> We have a Jordan, that looks like um, obviously Dubai's answer to Shua. Of course, I would expect that you do observe the We've got, what's needed, next? A dental kit, so I think that's like a toothbrush and toothpaste. And then we've got, hang on a second, I can't get this open. <laughs> it's really hard to do this one handed. <laughs> No, I'll have to show you that in a second. I might ask Chris to open it up in two seconds. Can you open that for me, dear? Thank you. Um, oh, Chris is getting it open for me now. Thank you very much. So we have a mirror. Super cool. Really hard to open one handed. And then we have. Is it focusing? Yep, we have a emulsion hydrating face. So that's face cream. And then we've got. Eau de toilette, so a little scent here. Oh, look how shiny the box is, that's amazing. And then we have a lip balm. Oh, this bag's amazing. I forgot to bring um, my lip balm actually on the plane, it's in my hand, my main luggage. And then we have a body lotion. Wow, how cool is that little kit? And I love the bag actually, I will use that again, that's amazing. Um, so, this is excellent, all the stuff in here. Oh, how good is this? I've never had a bag on an Emirates flight before, so I made up with that. Nice and blue sky. 
days um, kind of almost watched the sun coming up I think it was more at the other side of the plane but we kind of got the idea <laughs> um, but it's quite a nice thing to wake up to really lovely blue colours look at that I'll show you when we head over the islands obviously oh we're right almost on the wing Turbine, as it were. Every time I see one of these, I get flashbacks of Lost, the <laughs> pilot episode. Amazing show. Regardless of what anybody says. <laughs> hoping to show you like the islands and things unfortunately it's like majorly cloudy um, so I don't think we're going to get much if we get like lower than cloud level we might see something and obviously I'll record it but unfortunately it might just be the right this but look how pretty the clouds are just spotted with flying over some of the islands or something along the lines it's still a bit cloudy but hopefully we'll see some bits and bobs in the Maldives. It's very busy here. Oh my goodness, so many people waiting for people. Hi Chris. Hi. What? We've got our bags as well, which is always the moment I de-stress when everybody's bags are here. So, oh, we're now heading for the boat. There's a lovely little Maldives sign. It's spitted out to rain. Um, the best sign in the world. Apparently we're going to the world's leading Destination. So this is the pot. Is it where in Mali? It's <laughs> trying to rain. Good old big old ship. See? It's very much raining. <laughs> I mean it's the nicest kind of rain. It's absolutely boiling, but um, yeah, very wet. Not the greatest of starts, but I'm sure we'll cope. Bloody hell, I don't know if you can tell it here, um, but the rain is coming down, oh my goodness. I've literally never had rain when we've been here before. I mean, it's only our third time, but still, it's coming down. So we're on the boat, about to leave the airport. Ooh, it's a little bit rocky. <laughs> Where we go? Wow! <laughs> 
just pull it into the island. Definitely clear it up. So warm. So now heading to the room. Okay, so this is our room. Apparently mostly just for Chris. <laughs> We're in room 122. So, if we come in the door, to our left we have an area to store the suitcases, like a little dressing table area, and then we have the wardrobe, and then obviously that closes. And then this one opens also, and there's a safe in here. Um, life jackets should we need them. And then here we have a kettle and some water. Then here we have the mini bar. And in the fridge, every day replenished, we've got um, different soft drinks, some beer and a bottle of white wine. And then in here, in the drawers, we have things for making tea and coffee. With a bottle of red wine and some snacks. Wowza. And then I think in the bottom drawer is cutlery and things. Oh, no, glasses, derp. <laughs> and then if we look into the room, bang, we have the bed, which they've decorated beautiful for us coming. It says, welcome home. It's got some beautiful leaves and things on there. Bedside table, obviously, each side. And then if we move over here, we have a lovely little chaiselong, um, which can be turned into a bed. And then some towels, which are perfect to fit on the outside area. They have prepared us some cute little snacks for us arriving. Um, we've got some like fancy little chocolatey things, and a chocolate cake, some fruit. They've got the TV on for us, playing music. <laughs> this is a door to outside, that is a door to outside over here. Got some drawers and some flip flops we can have. And then if we come this way, hi, there's me, um, we'll look into the bathroom. Um, we have a toilet, a lovely shower, there's a waterfall shower and also the handheld. It's nice and big. We have a sink area and obviously all the amenities and then the most amazing bath in the world the window here opens as well so you can enjoy the view it's, it's genuinely one of my favorite baths ever um they supply us with some robes we will not be using the scales see if this door's open oh it needs unlocking let's oh no okay I, i'll tell you what let's go this way <laughs> Um, so we can go outside through here, here, or in the bathroom, which obviously I haven't figured out yet. There is a lock at the top of this one, so we should be able to open it. There we go. So immediately outside, we've got a nice little table, a couple of chairs, and if we go down, we have a rack to dry. Oh, wow, it's, uh, it's warm out here. Um, a couple of sun lounges. Over here, we have a shower. And over here is the piece de resistance. We have over around steps into the sea. And that ain't half a bad view, is it? Look at that. The colour of the sea. It's beautiful. So nice, so peaceful. And you'll notice how quiet it is. It's lovely. So looking back over, you'll see there's a slight thatched roof, nicely decorated. Um, in here is the bedroom, that way the bathroom. So yeah, not a bad way to spend the next 10 days. Hi guys, it's future Ashley, or certainly Ashley that's just been editing the vlog and realised that she never made a sign off video. <laughs> Basically we'd spent most of two days travelling with very little sleep and um, 
we had a nice long nap after I showed you around the room and then basically had a bath, got sorted, went out for tea, kind of then came back and crashed again. Um, like I say, we didn't get an awful lot of sleep. I think I slept on the second plane, but it was a four hour flight and I think they woke us up like two hours to the end because breakfast was ready. Breakfast took like half an hour for them to bring out as well. Could have had an extra half an hour's nap. But we caught up on our sleep and we continued with our holiday. I have made a vlog of a typical day in the Maldives, kind of what we would do day to day. There was no point in doing a vlog for every single day because a lot of the things were very, very similar. Uh, but I've done that and then after that there will be a tour around the island that we were staying on and then the travel day vlogging going back home which um, we spent a lot more time at Dubai airport so I got to show you a little bit around there and then we arrived home so you know what it is what it is um so those are the vlogs i've got coming um comment and let me know what you think of this one that would be fab if you've enjoyed it please do me a favor hit that like button give me a huge thumbs up that would be amazing and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like i say i've got more maldives vlogs coming up and also got some vlogs coming up from Disney in April, so I've got some more travel -y things. If you haven't checked out our Disney vlogs from Paris last year or from Disney World the previous year, then please make sure you do that if you enjoy that type of thing. I do. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I will catch you again very soon. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.